In 2008, he became the first Singapore filmmaker to walk the glamorous red carpet at the world-renowned Cannes Film Festival. His low-budget feature was one of 19 out of 5,000 films chosen to compete for the festival's prized Pound d'Or. This is Eric Ku, the man who's had a 40-year love affair with the silver screen. My mom had this great love for horror. So a lot of the early films I saw were like monster movies, you know, or dinosaur movies and ghost films, and it was magical. One day I stumbled upon her Super 8 Canon camera with still a cartridge of film inside. You know, having read these famous of monsters film and magazines that taught you about stop motion, I picked up uh, my G.I. Joe action figure with the 21 movable parts. Dance has always been at the center of Madame Somside's life. It is, without doubt, one of her greatest passions, whether she's performing herself or choreographing for others. But her pursuit of this passion might have been cut short. One of the biggest obstacles she faced when she first expressed her interest in dance was her mother. She took the conservative view that dance was not something decent Malay girls participated in. I find a way out no, to introduce her to who I learned the dance with, who are my friends, and then uh, so that she understand. And I even bring her to the rehearsals uh, session so that she really understand what I love doing, why am I doing such things, you know. At the moment now, I'm the happiest woman. I don't know why, but I feel very blessed with uh, the journey that I went through. Love what you do and do what you love. At first sight, the most obvious thing about Yugoslavia-born Singaporean artist Belenko Pravachki is his magnificent moustache. Less obvious to the uninitiated may be the fact that he's one of Singapore's most prolific artists. He's had a 40-year career, the last 20 or so in Singapore, a career that's not just measured by the volume of work, but by the constant evolution of both the artist and his art. Every work that I did illustrate my age, my period, my, my level of thinking, my understanding of what art is about. Milenko's story begins in the former Yugoslavia over 60 years ago. He first fell in love with painting in his birthplace, the village of Verdun, when he wandered into the studio of a neighbor, a professional artist. I was around seven or eight years old when I first time stepped in that studio and after that I decided really even very small that I want to be artist and only artist. 